options you've got available for backing up your Bubble application and your Bubble database. The application is the workflows and the actions and everything you use in the editor, and the data is what you have in the database. Backing up the application and restoring the application, built into Bubble, you can very easily just go back into the history and go back to any previous version. But in a, on a personal plan, you can only go back seven days. And on a professional plan, you can go back 30 days. So if you want to go back eight days on a personal plan, you just can't. Uh, but what you can do is under here, you, in terms of backing up the application, under settings, general, you can export the application. And what that does is it downloads a JSON file that you can then use to restore to that point in time where you've just backed up of your bubble app. You can only restore it into a bubble application, but you have to do it manually. It restores the entire app. And obviously when you restore it, there's probably a whole lot of config that you'll additionally need to add in order to make the app work. DNS, pay for plugins, and it doesn't come with the data. So you have separately, you'll have to recover the database. While we're talking about the app, the other thing you can do in terms of backing up the app is you can clone your bubble app. So under here, and this can clone the app and the database. So if I go in here and hit copy, I can basically copy my entire app and optionally my database. And this is a useful thing to do. However, once you've copied the app, obviously you'll probably need to pay for a plan and you'll probably have to buy the plugins and set up the DNS. But this, it's not automated, but it's a handy way of giving you some assurance that there is a very blunt method of, of backing up your app. Uh, talking about the data now, <clears throat> the options you've got are in here, in your app data, you'd have to switch to the live database because you you back up the live database separately. So let's say in this table here, uh, per table, I have to go export CSV file, confirm, and then it will send you an email. And in that email, there'll be a link and you click on the link and then you download the file. This all works, except if you've got a lot of tables, and going through that manual process takes two minutes, 20 minutes each. It just takes too long. You just, in reality, you never end up doing this because if it's going to take a few hours of manual processing to back up your database, you just never do it. The only automated way currently is the product I've built, which once you've set up and you've set up the data API connector, you can set up scheduled jobs to back up every table and download to CSV files and put those files safely where you can store them for months and have months of backups of your database.